going to embalm you. Now, if rigor mortis has begun, then all these muscles need to be broken up. Because after a while, they really don't listen. Ah, that's more comfortable. We have to pack up all these holes. Otherwise, we'll have a real mess on our hands. something to make him smile. It's a lot easier and a lot faster than sewing the lips together. These little gems hold the eyes shut. Next, we raise the vessels. Always remember, jugular is for draining and the carotids for injecting. One goes in and one comes out. Sometimes they get clots, and sometimes you have to cut into a few more places. But our patient should be a piece of cake. Came straight from the hospital, so they were probably thinning his blood to start with. see it as the embalmer's sword. And this is what you call cavity aspiration, where we suck out all the goo and we replace it with more magic elixir. That way, our young friend won't blow up like a pig. Wait! What? This is it. No. He's dead. Get used to the smell. All done. That's it. All you do is hose them down, dress them up, and apply a little makeup. Oh, Jan's gone for the day. Would you mind giving the floor a quick mop? And the front door locks behind you. You didn't faint. That's always a good sign. <laughs> 